Let's take our next question. That is question number four. Now the question you see here belongs to chapter electromagnetic induction. As per the question, a 10 centimeter long perfectly conducting wire PQ is moving with a velocity of 1 centimeter per second on a pair of horizontal rails of zero resistance. One side of the rails is connected to an inductor of 1 milli Henry and resistance of 1 ohm as shown in the figure. The horizontal rails L and R lie in the same plane with a uniform magnetic field of 1 tesla perpendicularly into the plane. If the key S is closed and certain instant the current in the circuit after 1 millisecond is x into 10 to power minus 3 ampere. We have to find the value of x. Let's see about the diagram. So as you can see here the diagram states that these are the rails and this is the rod which is 10 centimeter long it is moving in this direction and the magnetic field is going inside the plane the value of this is 1 tesla and the length of this segment is 10 centimeter right so if you want to find the emf first before finding the current you need to find the emf first so emf would be simply if i write the magnitude it would be blv in this case and that would be equal to 1 into 0 0.1 that is the length and the velocity of 1 centimeter per second to be written like this and this is 10 to power minus 3 volts right so i have emf with me now if this is the emf as you know through an inductor if there is a steady current established this will not have any effect. So the maximum current which is possible through the circuit would be E upon R that would be 1 milliampere right. Now at any instant when this is closed when the current has not reached the maximum value at that moment of time I can be written as I naught 1 minus T R by L right. So from here this is 1 milliampere 1 minus E now this is 1 millisecond I am talking to this is minus 3 1 upon 1 milli Henry that is 10 to the power minus 3 as per the formula. So when you put down these values the question has asked us at 1 millisecond right. So when you put down these values you will get 1 milli ampere 1 minus 1 by E solving this I you will get I is equals to 0 0.63 milli ampere right or you can also write it as 0 0.63 into 10 to power minus 3 ampere. So the answer we are looking to is 0 0.63. So what is the value of x here friends? In here it is 0 0.63. I hope you have understood the question pretty well. Now let's move on to our next question. Now the question you see belongs to chapter motion in a plane. This belongs to section projectile. A ball is thrown from ground at an angle theta with horizontal and with an initial speed u0. For the resulting projectile motion, the magnitude of average velocity of the ball up to the point when it hits the ground for the first time is v1. After hitting the ground, the ball rebounds at the same angle theta but with a reduced speed of u0 upon alpha. Its motion continues for a long time as shown in the figure. If the magnitude of average velocity of the ball for the entire duration is 0.8 V1, the value of alpha is. So we have to find the value of alpha as per the given diagram you can see the ball was projected with U0, it hits the ground, again goes up with the same angle but the speed has reduced. Now why it has happened? Certainly there is some loss of energy. That's why the velocity is getting reduced. Now the point is in what components since you can see the angle of projection always remains same that means there is reduction in the vertical as well as horizontal component of equal amount that's why the ratio always remains same right. So when you want to write the solution the very first point is when you say that V y after first collision it would be u y by alpha similarly V x after first collision would be u x by alpha after second collision if you say then then in that case you will write V y dash would be equals to u y by alpha square and similarly V x dash would be u x by alpha square and so on. So after every collision the value of Vy and Vx will keep on decreasing in terms of alpha as we have seen. Now when you talk about the average velocity 
what you will write is total distance by total time. Right? When you talk about total distance here, it's the summation of all the ranges. Now, for range, what is the formula you have? So, if you talk about the formula for range, what we get is V average will be summation of all the ranges divided by summation of time of flights. Now, when you talk about the summation of all the ranges, you will get 2 ux uy by g, then 2 vx vy by g and so on till infinity. When you take this as common, you will get 2 u naught square sin alpha cos of alpha by g bracket 1 plus 1 upon alpha square plus 1 upon alpha power 4 and so on till so this is the summation of r and similarly if you want to find the summation of all the time of flights you will get 2 u naught sin alpha divided by g 1 plus 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon alpha square and so on right so when you take the ratio of these you will get v average simply as they will be cancelled and it is u naught cos of alpha 1 plus 1 upon alpha square plus 1 upon alpha 4 so on and below this you will get divided by 1 plus 1 upon alpha plus 1 upon alpha square and so on. So this is given as 0 0.8 of the initial average velocity that was u naught cos of alpha and here also u naught cos of alpha and here is a gp so that will be 1 upon 1 minus 1 upon alpha square this is whole divided by 1 upon 1 minus 1 by alpha right now this and this will be cancelled so 0 0.8 is equals to 1 divided by 1 minus 1 upon alpha square and this whole should be divided by 1 upon 1 minus 1 by alpha Solving this, you will get alpha as 4. I hope you have understood the solution. Now, let's move on to our next question. Now, the question you see here belongs to chapter atoms and nuclei. In here, a perfectly reflecting mirror of mass capital M mounted on a spring constitutes a spring mass system of angular frequency omega such that this value is equal to 10 to power 24 per meter square. With h as Planck's constant and photons of wavelength lambda is equals to 8 pi into 10 to power minus 6 meter, strike the mirror simultaneously at normal incidence such that the mirror gets displaced by 1 micrometer. If the value of n is x into 10 to power 12, then the value of x is, we have to find the value of x. Let's first understand the diagram here. So this is the case where the light particles are hitting it and going back since it's a perfect elastic collision there will be change of momentum that is 2h by lambda right and since there are n particles so it would be 2nh by lambda and due to this collision this is getting towards back. So let's start with the solution. So first of all by the nature or the by the law of conservation of momentum delta p which has been applied is 2nh by lambda and that should be equal to m into velocity of the mirror. This is the mass of the mirror and this into velocity. Since it is performing SHM, what is the maximum velocity possible would be a into omega, right? So, if you replace this here, you will get 2nh upon lambda is equals to m a omega. Now, you just shift all the things on this side, you will get n is equals to m a omega lambda upon 2h. Now just put the value of lambda here. So what is the value of lambda which is given to us that is 8 pi into 10 to the power minus 6. So when you put down this value you will find that n is equals to m a omega upon h into 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 6. Now if you put the value of a you will get m omega 4 pi into this is 1 micrometer a so this will become 10 to power minus 12 upon h now this value is already given to us friends it is 10 to power 24 let's see here so this value 4 pi m omega upon h is 10 to power 24 so when you put this value down here in this place what you will get is n is equals to 10 to power 24 into 10 to power minus 12. So n would be simply 1 into 10 to power 12. 
Now, as per this finding, if you compare with the question, you will get that the value of n, which was given as x into 10 to power 12, this x would be 1. I hope you have understood the solution very well. So, this was the last question for section 2. Now, let's move on to next question that is section 3.